Let's talk about how you can hang your collared shirts. In order to hang the collared shirts, the first thing that we need to discuss is which hangers you definitely should avoid at all costs. And that is ones like this, these tiny wire hangers like this. What's gonna happen when you use them is that you get a lot of piling in your shoulder. It's gonna make your shirt look horrible. And it's gonna stretch it out over time. You're much better off using something like this. This is a standard wooden hanger. It's a lot wider and made to hang your shirts. Alternatively, you could also use something like a coat hanger, like this one. This one is generally made for hanging your suit jackets. It's much wider. This is definitely gonna avoid any piling that could occur on your shirt. Lastly, you have something like this. This is a velvet hanger. I tend to use these a lot as they have a lot of uh, friction, which prevents the shirts from slipping at all. But it's generally not a problem with colored shirts. Standard one that you want to use is probably something like this. It's about a centimeter thick, which equates to in uh, freedom uh, measurements. <laughs> so let me show you how you, you're gonna hang this now. There is a few things to keep in mind when you hang your shirts. So the first thing that we need to talk about here, first of all, is that you want to button up all the buttons. You can do the arms as well. Next, you want to open it up before you hang it. You never want to just stuff it inside here. What's gonna happen is that you're gonna stretch out the collar. It's not good for your shirt at all. So you want to open it up. I generally think you can get away with opening three buttons like this. You can stuff it in on one side, like that, and then open up and put it inside the other side as well. From here, you want to rebutton all the buttons here. The reason that you're buttoning them up is that this helps keep the shape of the shirt. If I start to open this button again, what's gonna happen now is that you see it's gonna start pulling downwards and you're gonna be left with uh, wrinkles on your shirt. The second thing that you want to keep in mind when you're hanging your shirts is the length of the hanger compared to your shirt. So as you can see, this one pretty much lines up perfectly here at the edge of my shirt. So this is ideal. That way you don't have either the coat hanger going far up on the arm or maybe even worse, if the coat hanger is too short, it may create a crease or piling at the shoulder. Another important thing that you want to be aware of is that you kind of want to place these so that they don't squeeze the colors of each other together. So if you have a very full wardrobe, you are probably better off folding up some of them so that you at least have, let's say, a couple of inches room between them so that the colors don't get mashed together or the fabric gets squeezed together and kind of start creasing. If you prefer folding your shirts, I made a video about that in the past that you can check out here. I also made a video on how to organize your entire wardrobe that you can check out on this side. So yeah, make your choice here and uh, I'll see you in either of those videos.